Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the final video in my Python series. And in this video, I just wanted to leave you guys with a couple of websites and books that I think are really awesome for you to take your knowledge of Python even further. This isn't the end of my coverage of Python altogether. I just think at this point, there's probably no reason to have a numbered series. I could just do one-off standalone Python videos from here on out because I think that the basics are covered and if you've made it this far, then you definitely understand the basics. So I definitely wanna leave you with some additional resources. So first I'm gonna show you a few websites. The first one might seem pretty obvious, but you'd be surprised a lot of people forget about this one. And that is the official website at python.org. There's all kinds of things here. There's documentation. There's a community that you can join. So I definitely recommend that you bookmark this and also check out the documentation as well because it'll go into a lot more detail than anything that I've gone into in this video series. But you get a lot more, lot more detail here like I mentioned, but I just highly recommend that you check this out. Another website of interest is the Python tutorial which is actually also at python.org but I'll have the URLs for all these in the description below. But basically this is the official Python tutorial. So if you wanted a refresher on any of the things that we've gone over, you can get that here. There's probably going to be some things that I missed or that I forgot. So I do recommend you check out the Python tutorial, even if most of it is things that we've gone over already. It's good to refresh yourself for sure. So definitely check that one out. So next we have learnpython.org. And this is a site that includes some more tutorials. So most of these are, again, going to be things that we've already gone over in this series that you most likely already have a good handle on. But repetition is key. I find that the more you practice, the more you're able to remember things. At least that's how it is with me. So I definitely recommend you check these out as well. And you might even find some things here that I forgot to go over in this series because Python is such a huge language, it's pretty much impossible for one source to cover everything. So you might find some missing pieces here. But other than that, I think the tutorial here will be definitely be helpful for you as well. Next we have the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. And one of the things I like about this site is it includes a lot of information that you might not find elsewhere. For example, it'll tell you how to set up your development environment, your IDEs, various tools, virtual ENV wrapper, uh, there's all kinds of different things here. So I recommend you check this out because you're definitely going to find a lot of things here that is going to go above and beyond. For example, you get PEP8, you get the Zen of Python. So you got your code style, all kinds of different things here that you can check out. So I do recommend you check out the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. Definitely bookmark this. The information here is just really, really good. And next I'm going to recommend a few books. So this one here is called Learn Python 3 the Hard Way. So I know that might be kind of a misleading title. This is a good book. It basically forces you to think outside of the box. Nothing is really handed to you. That's why it's called Learn Python 3 the Hard Way. Through my series, you've already learned the basics. So if you go through here, this book is actually going to cause you to basically go outside of your comfort zone and use Python 3 in ways that you might not have already. Now learn Python 3 the hard way, that's the title, doesn't necessarily mean that it's difficult. It just means that it's gonna force you to do a little bit more work. It's not gonna handhold you as much as other books would. But I think as long as you understand the basics, you'll have no problem. And it's just gonna cause you to go ahead and research and find answers to questions, which is basically what you would do if you were a programmer as a career anyway, you're gonna be in situations where you're constantly outside your comfort zone and having to read documentation and research. And that's not to say this book won't teach you anything. It's definitely not a book that's going to tell you to read the manual every single time you run into a problem, but it is going to cause you to work through exercises and use the sections of your brain that are required to be exercised to become a good programmer. Now, if you have the basics all set, like you probably do at this point in the series anyway, my favorite book of any Python book is this one, Python 3 Object Oriented Programming by Dusty Phillips. Now, I love this book. I have purchased every edition of this book. What this book will do is allow you to take your knowledge of Python to the next level. Now, my biggest hang up with learning any programming language and even Python was once you learn the basics, 
well, then what? Most websites and tutorials teach you the basics. So what do you do if you're somebody that understands the basics and you want to take your knowledge to the next level to intermediate or advanced? Now that's what this book is. This book is not something you'd want to read if you're just starting out in Python. But if you've gone through my tutorial series up to this point, you definitely understand the basics. And if you've gone through Learn Python 3 the hard way or maybe another tutorial series like the other links I gave you here, then this book is probably the next step for you to take your knowledge to the next level. Now some of these exercises in this book are going to be very advanced, but if you just focus and um, just go through the exercises and the sample code, make sure you type it out, don't copy and paste, you'll definitely learn a lot in this book, and I think this book you'll find will take your knowledge to the next level. I highly recommend it. It's well written and one of my favorite Python books of all time. So there you go. Um, I hope this series was helpful for you guys. Um, again, this is the end of this series. I feel like the Python series on my channel, it didn't really do so well. So I think I will revisit it at some point. The view count on my Python series is just a lot lower than my other videos. But if you want to see more Python videos, I'm very happy to do them. Let me know which ones you want me to make or any specific uh, content regarding Python that you'd like me to make a tutorial for, and I will definitely consider that. And you know, if this series was helpful for you guys, please share it. Share it on your favorite social media engine, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you use. Spread it. Help make it popular. And um, if this series does take off, I will definitely revisit it and do additional videos. But until then, I will do standalone Python videos from here on out, how to do very specific things in Python. So um, I'll do that once I get caught up with the other tutorial series that I'm working on right now. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so, and you'll be the first to see any additional Python videos that I may make in the future. So thanks again. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you want to help me out, make sure you check out the description below this video where you'll find links to my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, second edition, as well as my Patreon page. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share it on Twitter or any other social media network. And be sure to subscribe so you'll be the first to see my latest videos as they're uploaded. Thanks again.